moment. There, can you hear me now? Are we okay? Just gotta make sure before we even kick in, <laughs> get this sound please right. That should be hopefully working. Is it too loud? Is it is it all right? No sound, still no sound. On mute, no, I'm not on mute. It's all, it's all go. I will just catch up and then you just can see if I've got no sound muted. Yes, there we go, there we go. Yes, you can hear us there. The, the comments, I'm starting to sweat there. The comments were like still saying no sound. Yes, I had it. Yes, I did that um, Teams thing. You know that one where you're like, you muted, man. Yes, you're old bastard, you muted. So, hello, everyone. Welcome to the gardening show. Yes, come and say hello. Who's in there? Rob's allotment. How are you doing, Rob? Got his can of Stella I see before. Tony's Kitchen Garden. Hello, Tony. Nice to have you on there. Deborah. Lovely, lovely Deborah. De Is it Davy? Davy? Michael? Michael Thompson. Caroline Denver. My God, little God. My, <laughs> my God. My good little garden. Hello, Dave Holden. Five times five. Nev. How are you doing there? That's a serious, that's a serious face you've got there, Nev. <laughs> Ginger Pete of Derby. Hello, Ginger Pete, lad. Brian and Brian Patton and Brian Poole. Peter, how are you doing, Peter? That's a nice picture as well, wasn't it? <laughs> Grand, right. So, come on, we'll just have five minutes where we'll get to know each other. Say hello. Have a, Do have chats in, in the comments as well. And the idea is that I'm going to start because, unfortunately, I'll start with it, unfortunately, me wife's, the father-in-law is not very well. And she goes to look after him a couple of nights a week, Mondays and Tuesdays. And I've got the house to myself. So I didn't even put the green screen up. <laughs> yeah, I thought, no, no green screen. So the intention is to do these lives a couple of times a week, a Monday and a Tuesday. And we'll get guests on as well. That's the plan. Hopefully, because I've, I've changed it all around, but hopefully Mondays we'll have guests and we'll just banter on, talk about topics, talk about who, you know, who's the, the gods in gardening, Titch March for me. And Tuesday, it might be just me, you know, waffling. We'll see how that goes. So that is the the idea. It might just go down to once a week and just have guests and just do it through that as well. So, yes, and if it's going to be like this, ask ask us questions on gardening if, if I can help. <laughs> But if you watch me, if we're gonna, I kill bees and I lose more veg than I bloody plant. So, but like I say, we're hoping on the on which will hopefully be on a Monday. Now it will have like guests on. I'm trying to get Audrey sorted as well to come on because the knowledge people's got. Do you know what I mean? It way way beyond what I can kind of give you. So that's the plan. So what have I got? lined up let's have a look there if you just want to get in touch i'll tell you what just before those are my seeds that i've just sent out a day first class those are the seeds those are them yes those are my that, honestly it's gonna be probably my favorite tomato brad's atomic grape so i've just sent them out there i'm quite happy with that we will have Another little competition t tonight, you know what I mean? And so, well, and I'll keep plugging it away and mention it. But if you want to end up for the win, some Brad's atom my own. So, <laughs> one, they might not germinate and they might not fruit, right? <laughs> if you want to put your money, right? That's me email to send, send it to. Send us your, just send us your address and a hello. That's all I kind of need. But put your address so I can just paste it and copy it onto my little printer. Because I've had to actually had to get my wife to write out the addresses because my handwriting is, sh man, shocking. So, hello, Tony. And then if you want to win some Brad's Atomic Grape, name and address, just so I can paste it and copy it, put it in my little printer, and then we'll get some. And I'll pick some winners out for next week as well. So there you go. I'll leave that up for a couple of minutes. If you want to have some of these... Funky tomatoes. I'll be honest, 
I'll be really honest. I haven't gotten them anywhere like that. And that is that picture is totally like photo enhanced. But the possibility of getting them like that, that's still my dream goal. But I think I'd have to move to the Mediterranean, to be honest, to, to kind of it's the light that ripens them. Mine are pitch black. <laughs> I was gonna swear there, they were like they're like bloody lumps of coal, but they do go ripe in texture and I keep harping on about them, but you know what I mean? If you just want to kind of win some, Tony says, well, all I've done is just keep the seeds from, I think they were Baker Creek. Audrey sent them over and I've just kept them. What else am I talking about today? Well, let's see who else is in there. Who else we got in before we kind of jump in? Phil Hurst is in. Hello, Phil. Nice to see you, lad. James B., Oh, Amelia. Amelia won. Amelia, I've just sent, Mel, I've just sent off them seeds there, lass, so they're coming to you. They might get them tomorrow, to be honest. Jenny, hello, Jenny. Oh, you're growing Brad's stomach this year. Look, right. Right, Wild Boar sent a freebie of Cosmic Eclipse. Now, I've never heard of Wild Boar. Excuse me. Dinner rifting. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine the BBC, eh, yeah, man? I should have took me Gaviscon. <laughs> right, Helen B. Hi from Lancashire. Exile from the Northeast. <laughs> Darren, how are you doing? Darren Sexton. Super busy. busy. Is it busy? Yeah, yeah. Percy Brad's Tommy for growing this year on your record. Well, oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, no pressure. Claire, hello Claire from Yorkshire, adding to the ranks of Yorkshire lot. Yes, Claire, we were in, is Pickering classed as Yorkshire? We were there last couple of weeks ago there now. It was just gorgeous, actually, absolutely gorgeous. Lindsay Carroll, Lindsay, I'm sure I've sent you some seeds as well. You were in there as well. Hi, Tony and everyone. Hello, Anne, nice to see you there. Mark, you're definitely, I'm sure, Mark, did you send... Someone, Mark, one Mark sent some and won some and I posted them. So, yes, they are in the post. Brad's Atomic, yeah, last time I've set all this up, so I've got to use my pictures. <laughs> what else is happening? So, there's Audrey. They're just, we're going to, like you say, try and get Audrey. Oh, she's going too fast. The comments are going too fast. They were trying to get Audrey on the show as a guest, as a regular guest. She doesn't, she doesn't go every in a week <laughs> and I'll just put Audrey on and just sit in the background so trying to get Audrey trying to get Steve as well green side up so that's good right what else is happening anyway oh Jennifer B hi from Arizona Stu Tube 3 in Glasgow this morning Tube I said well there's a thing we'll jump to that now I want to be interesting to find out from you what the where's my little thing to be honest to find it. What weather app do you use? So I'm gonna show you the collection of my little weather apps, which and we'll just go into the kind of these are the weather apps that I've got kind of on my tides near me is actually that's a great app, to be honest. If anyone's interested in that, that tides to me, because we like to walk the dogs and we like to walk them on the beach. And this is just brilliant. Do you know what I mean? It's just a, a great little app for tides, tides need you. But the weather one, this is the one in the middle on with the little red dot. Weather Live is, is mine. So this is, and it's just laid out beautiful. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely beautiful, to be honest. And so that you get a glance there of like in that circle, like the maximum, the, you know, participation, <laughs> the max and the min temperatures there. So it's going to be minus one as well for us down. And it was bitterly cold last night as well. But you can kind of, you can scroll through it as well. It gives you like a seven day forecast. Now I must admit, I coughed up, I think, a yearly subscription for this one to get everything, all the whistles and bells and everything like that. I think it's about probably £17, but for gardening, I just think, and I'm not kind of, I don't get anything, I'm just kind of showing you what 
what I find, you know what I mean? It's, I find it really good, and I like this map as well, this map, because then you can see that like, the, there's no rain tonight, but you can see you know, how it goes over with rain as well, so you can press play, and then I don't know if you can see up the top there, the, the little button's moving. So that's going through the night, and it actually tells you, you know, like how how good it is. Tells you wind speed. <laughs> we all kind of need to know that of late with the storms. So yes, I love this um, sea temperature because I was going into the sea, dipping into the sea. But I actually found out that um, it's a bit cold. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Although I'm a, I was classing myself as a cold water swimmer. Or a co you know, like for cold water, it, oh, it's too bloody cold. I hurt. To be honest, it was hurting me hands and me feet, so I would have to wear kind of things, you know, like gloves and all that. But yes, if um, that this little gardening thing is, you know, this app is brilliant. Whoops, I'm going all over the place there as well. So that's my recommendation. If anybody's interested in what I use. For gardening, I'm going to tell you another app that we've just started to use. That's great fun, and you can follow us on it and send me pictures. But I'll, I'll remember, I'll tell you about that later on. Right, Norman, I'd, I've honestly, the way if you if I just go back to the phone, so you can see which ones I kind of I've got there, and yeah, I like that. But the BBC is all right. Do you know what I mean? It's it's it. I guess it does what it does on the can, but. Port Patrick, that's where I'll have a cottage there. I'll just, have got anything else? No. So, Dark Sky was a nice one for the weather as well. In the Met Office. I just found them a little bit, I don't know, twee compared to this, this one. I love this one. So, yes, that is my weather app. Let us know what, what if you know, if, if you use a kind of, got a preference for a, a, a weather app or anything like that. Right, Rob is a lot, man. Been trying to upload a video for nearly two hours, Rob, man. Come on, spend your money. Get your internet sorted out, man. Don't be going on this dial-up. <laughs> right, Stu TV Devon. Grew some brads last year, thanks to you. On they would See there, Stu. Honestly, Stu, everyone I've, I've mentioned this to is like them. I haven't come across one yet that went, ah, you know, it wasn't my kind of cup of tea. They weren't mine, so... Right then, what what else we got? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll show you this. These here are, can you see that there? These are, Ian sent them over last year, I think they were. These are tendril peas, 160 grams. And I'm going to have a go at doing pea shoots with them. Oh. Now I've got to soak these, which I'm going to do tonight. I've got to kind of soak them, can you see, over, overnight. Now, there's a there's 160 gram there. I would have thought there was way more, but Ian said that'll do like one tray of sweet, pe of sweet peas, of pea shoots. So I'm going to try and, because I want to try and up me game on salads and, and all that kind of, you know, like that. Crop coming, come again, kind of crop. That's like kind of one of my goals this year is to kind of delve in. And I've got some salads out there, which seem a lot better than we were last year as well. So hopefully that's that's going all right. And like I say, mixed in with the the, the, the pea shoots, this is one of me one of my goals. Maybe to grow a radish as well is one of the goals as well. But you know what I mean. So, what else? Come and ask us a question. If there's any questions out there, I'll, I'll certainly try and help. If um, I'm just trying to think of anything else I can talk about on these pea shoots, because I've never done. I, I'm almost in the in the camp of where I don't like to waste the. You know what I mean? Cutting a pea to kind of just for the pea shoots kind of thing, and then keep cropping them. Uh, it's almost like sinful for us, do you know what I mean? But I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. Don't say God, you know, God loves to try. Yeah? Right? Anything there? 
Oh, excuse me. Jen, I was, you know, <laughs> Jenny, Jenny says she also uses Marifat dry peas from the supermarket. Right? Oh, no. Jennifer, I know, didn't know that. But I'll, I'll fancy ones. <laughs> can I have a recommendation for tomorrows I can grow in a hanging basket? Oh, right. Ami, I think, is that Ami? Is that how you pronounce Can someone help Ami out there? Can Any recommendations for... I got... There is a one I tried, and it was off. It was off. I don't know if can you can see that the fireplace, the lad that put the fireplace in. I think they were called patio tomatoes, and they just grow like little patio dwarf, like very dwarfy tomatoes. But I mean, I'm I'm not. I'm going to say obsessed with the taste of flavors. Do you know what I mean? It's it's got to be worth your while. And although these were quite funky and neat and they didn't give a nice taste, do you know what I mean? So it all depends. Do you know what I mean? If there's you know, if there's anybody out there can kind of variety of like a hanging basket tomato, you know, pop it in the comments there, that would be fantastic. Tumbling Tom's Coastal Gardens. So I've never are they are they a nice I mean I've heard the name Tumbling Tom's, I've never grown them, so Tiny Tim's. Tumbling Tom, Tiny Tim, are they <laughs> are we, <laughs> are they the same? It's Tumbling Tom and Tiny Tim, the same tomato, and just someone who's it? And Jenny's not too sure what the name is. <laughs> Everyone's going with Tumbling Tom. They're the whole lot. Everybody. Also, also Craig. Tumbling Tom. Well, that's it. I think it's unanimous. Tumbling Toms. Uh, I had the yellow Tumbling Toms. This is Let's Grow Home. I had the yellow Toms last year, and the amount they produced is loads. Well, there you go. You can't see it better than that. Actually, I should write that down, Tumbling Toms, before Toms might get some. some. I'm going, as you know, again, we are going... Oh, actually, I've got them here. Let me just put up the, the camera. Here we go. Get there. Get there. Yes. Link's in the description. <laughs> Wait, I've got, got my seeds. That... Audrey sent over. So these are me brads. There you go. That's, and I think I've got, well, I thought I had two packets of brads. I'm sure I have somewhere. But it's these ones that I'm going to grow. Can you see these? Wait on, let's just get that. Get that right for you. There. Black strawberry from Bega Creek. Now, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. From the picture, this there are there are like a half and half. They look like a kind of two tone, you know, like black on the top where the the actual the shoot is of the tomato, and then as the fruit grows, they go red. So I'm looking forward to those ones, to be honest. Audrey's always kind of always send it like I say, sends us stuff over there. I've, I'm sure Audrey have sent another brands, but I've got these climbing beans. Some pumpkins, or squash, honey nut. A few people have said that's really they're really nice, to be honest. So get them in. Missouri, that's where this Baker Creek is. And the free seeds work because you always get a, a free seed is a, a radish, Japanese wasabi. There you go. So that's I mean, like you see, I've got it's all starting to kind of kick off there now. But I've got loads of things. So if anybody's grown any of them, pop it in the comments, let us know there. Black Russian do that as well, do you? And do they where they kind of go black and then they start? Can you see? Just get that focused in there. I'm not sure what that. What the pick why they got a picture of a little kid in a river for, to be honest. So yes, that's that and that. What we what we plant? Well, I tell you what. We'll. Um, what have I got? Gato, right. What? There you go. There is. This is like a week later. So they certainly picked up. I've got my two salads, which are freckles and the Paris Paris ones that Audrey sent over. Those are my spring onions in the bottom left hand corner. And I think that's Durham early cabbage. So I'm uh, 
they've, they've certainly, I've had them outside. I've had them actually, there's a window there, and I've had them out there just in its little, in the little box with the plastic on, and they seem to have pulled around something not right. You know what I mean? So you can see there, what's it, Paris cost? I thought they were excellent, to be honest. Nice, good, strong. It was, it's like a giant, what do you call them, little gem? It's like a giant little gem, if that's one for a better description. Let's grow home, says Freckles are amazed. And I, I thought they were as well. Let's grow, do you know what I mean? I'm, uh, I'm really quite quite pleased with them ones. What else we got? There's me. These were all looking pretty bad, to be honest. The other, last week, they were all kind of, uh, it's hard, you know, like you've got to germinate them in the heat and catch them. But to get them in the light, and obviously odd times I was a little bit lazy and laxed, missing them. This is, I, I did eight, if you remember when the video I did, I did eight trays of seeds and they haven't just took. Now, I was watching Steve the other day on his his um, potting, he's sowing seeds and, I and it is the best thing, just start again, don't even worry, about, you know what I mean, just don't even worry about it again. Start early and like you, you get your practices in, <laughs> you know what I mean, but then... And I'm not sure why those ones haven't come. I don't think it's the seeds. Do you know what I mean? If I'll be honest, I don't think it's the seeds. You know what I mean? Because some of them, like especially the Ishikua in the top right-hand corner one, those were like just opened. You know, they were like sealed in. But everyone, everyone gets like dead. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I get quite a few, to be honest, especially me. So, yes. Now, Jenny, Jenny, what? Over 30 varieties of tomato. Tomato. Right, right. Dano's Universe. Hello, Tor. How are you doing, lad? Hello, Dano. Nice to have you on there. Salvatore, how are you doing? John. John Owen's in. My brother, Tommy Grape, arrived Saturday. We're sewing this morning along with. Oh, you're doing your tomatoes already, John? <gasps> Bloody hell, man. I still haven't. <laughs> Well, what it's I'm still hanging back a little bit. What I'm I'm not going to bottle it and go. I'm going for I've got a calendar here. Possibly, I don't know. Going quiet, maybe something like the the weekend of the thirteenth, fourteenth of March. I think I'm going to go there. I've said it. I've said it. I've said it there. Plant me. Sow me seeds there. As it happens, as it happens, the Brad's Atomic, it's probably, you need to do a little bit earlier. So, John, you're, you're kind of, you're well within there because they do take, they are a while to kind of ripen from like these little like bullet, black bullets. Do you know what I mean? So, you're probably all right if you can kind of keep them protected from the frost, you know what I mean? Because the bloody frost is just like brutal sometimes, you know, it just catches you out. It caught me out last year with me. Me, what you call it, me, me Carolina Reaper things. They were just perfect. And the first night, the first night I put them up there, they got clattered and I lost three. That one's still upstairs, the other one. So, right. Right. I've just noticed Rob there mentioned leaks. You know, did anyone watch the last video where I kind of cleared out a bit more of the garden and I cleared out the leaks? Well, I had these leaks and... I thought I used some and I bloody, I burnt them. <laughs> I've, had, I've been growing them probably like eight, nine months and I went and burnt them. <gasps> you know what it was? I was after a, a little pudding for myself. So I kind of cut these <laughs> leeks. The got a little local shop, four or five doors away, a co-op. And I put them on sort here and I went down for a little pudding because I, you know, chunky, greedy, greedy boy wanted a pudding. And I, had, I thought I would have... Bloody burnt it. Had to chuck them out. So I've grown half them leeks that I picked. Bin. Ah, no, just black as black as the ears of spades on one side. I was like, oh, you're kidding, man. Yeah, bloody hell. Oh, there we got. I've just, Ian, I've just been showing them your, uh, there's Ian. I've just been showing Ian's, these are Ian sent these down. Grown local sent these down. So Ian, I'm going to have a go this time of these, these peas. Have a, have a go. I'm going to do that pretty soon. Hopefully. 
Just say, Ian, do, will I need heat? That's all I need to know. Will I need to go through the slavers of heat? Because I'd, I'd rather not, if I'm honest. You know what I mean? It's just like I'm trying to do it without all the... Just to, for a try, a fancy, fancy heating systems and everything like that. Because it keeps tripping the bloody house. Because the power in that hut is just... Well, it's fed from the cooker. So it's a quite a nice, thick one. But when all the lights are going and, you know, then the tumble dry is going, it just kind of cuts out. Right. So... Simon, love your channel. Thank you very much. Maxine, hello, Maxine. Does anyone get mouth ulcers or sore throat from eating tomatoes? Right. Oh, no, oh, no. Maxine, I've never heard of that, to be honest. Right. Stu Tube, we started three tomatoes mid February just because I was chomping at the bit and still going strong. Well, see, Stu, I've been there and done that. If you can still mother them to like, till. What, what should we say? Should we say beginning of May? Do you think we'll get any f June? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the bloody thing. But just like... Right, anybody else? If you have a nice bright spot, you'll be fine. Right, right. Well, I'll try for that then. Yeah, so anyone growing pea shoots there? Ian says you don't need heat. All you need is a nice bright window and you'll be fine. <laughs> Ian, we'll have to get you on here as well. Get your advice on things and, you know, folks can ask questions and stuff like that. That would be that would be nice. All you got to do is just spend a fortune on lighting and <laughs> camera equipment. Hello, Marion. How are you doing? Nice to have you on there, Marion. Ian, I find frozen beans are not very good after about two to three months, to be honest, Ian, I've, I've never kind of, I've froze a few, to be honest, but we just kind of eat them, and eat them and eat them and eat them and get sick, and then, you know what I mean, so, so if, if any newcomers here, don't forget, competition, if you want to win that competition, you just, you know, send some, an email with your address, just your address, just your address, Hello, Tony. You can say hello, Tony. But then, so I can just paste and copy it straight there onto an envelope, little sticker. So I'll leave that up again. If you want to win some of my Brad's Atomic Grape Seeds, that would be fantastic. Anything else? Claire. What's Claire saying? Claire, I'm just going to put that up there. I'll get rid of me. Oh, that's the no. <laughs> It's going that quick, man. Where's Claire's gone? Claire, I've lost it already. There we go. Right. My chilies aren't on heat most of the time. Cool attempts made them grow slower till the light improves as I don't have any fancy setup. Well, if that's... I mean, you've got to kind of just start them so early. Do you know what I mean? It's just way early. Did I... I mean, I started one in, and it actually hasn't, hasn't come through there. I started one. I wanted to try and get it through this winter, but it didn't. It's, it hasn't gone. It's give up in November. <laughs> But yeah, January, I'll be sowing bloody chilli seeds, middle of January. But that's the, you know what I mean? Right. Oh. Tal Tal Talma, Stuart, just bought some Brad's Atomic Seeds, great. I, I never win anything. <laughs> well, you're safe and sorry, lad, safe and sorry. So that's, don't worry, you've got them now, so... Used to have a nice sunny windowsill. This is Ali, rad electric radiating thermostat. Then we went with a baby. <laughs> now it's a nursery. Ah, you see, y'all. That's the way. Anything? I'm just looking through the comments. There. Anything else? What else? What we what we sown this week? Now I've got a list of things you can sow. Got them down. Obviously, pea shoots. We're going for spring onions. Get your spring onions in there now. You can do lettuce. Well, this is like you see, I'm kind of trying to not go heavy on lettuce, but have a few varieties dead early on and try and keep that momentum going. So all different types of lettuce I'm going with. I've got spinach ready to go in if you want. Herbs, you've got... And I'll tell you why I like, I like coriander because it seems to be, for me, one of them ones that... 
I'm not saying bulletproof because I can kill anything when I <laughs> set my mind to it with growing. But coriander, let you can it can stand a bit of cold. You know what I mean? And up here in the northeast, you certainly get some. So there's coriander and parsley, early cabbage. Hello, Lorraine. How are you doing? Evening, Tony. Put your tomatoes in the polytunnel two days ago. Ooh. Oh, 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 Lorraine. Oh, Lorraine, he's a man, eh? Taking a chance, lass. Taking a chance. I mean, <laughs> just, you get paranoid. So what else? Early cabbage, broccoli. I'm still, it's funny enough, my sprouting broccoli, which I forgot the name of it, has so late coming the whole garden other gardens even like little plants that are stunted and had a, like a terrible time through the winter are fruiting away but mine is struggling at the moment so but not struggling just a while you know what i mean found a jeff saying found any decent compost mm, well i i tell you what i like as a Oh, I forget what it was called there. Now it was a soil conditioner. What was that stuff I used to use? But I used to want to be able to get it while in nursery. Oh, I forget. But I was using putting bags of that stuff on. But compost, I've still got bags of clover. And I can still get that. As a, like a peat-free one, which everyone just says Jack's magic. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure. It's such a debate, to be quite honest. I will not, I still not, go through that Dursons, this their stuff was just rank. And I don't know if they were just kind of, for me, it was like what they could get out at the time because it was right on when the fir were first allowed back into garden centres in the pandemic. And just, it was just naff. Con it was concrete almost. So I'll not touch Durston's, but I'll give others a go. Anybody recommendations? Let us know. Oh, what's, what's you can see there? Micro coriander is possibly one of the, the, the tasting herbs on the planet. It's just way more potent. Ooh. Did not see it's all it's all new to us. And I've got all the gear now as well, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. So yes. How long we've we been going, to be honest. I don't want to be kinda of waffling on too much. 37 minutes there. 37 minutes. Oh, I'm missing all these comments there. So if you want to have a little my go is Jack's, uh, Jack's magic. If it's if it's you know, and you go into a garden centre and there's like ones I don't know, but I can I recognise that I'll pull that off the uh, off the the palette any time. To be quite honest, I think it, it's I don't know. I mean, what's your price though? You know, you pay. I think is it six ninety nine? Now two or three year ago, didn't I get a whole load when Asda puts theirs three bags for? 10 pound i got about 20 20 bags and it was dynamite stuff dynamite i couldn't feel what i was everything was going <laughs> pauline i've just seen that pauline coriander tastes like soap that's it final don't you <laughs> hi jim hi jim loving the live stream thank you very much jim so like is if anyone else is new just come in i'll just tell you Oh, Jenny, I've seen the horizon, right? I, I haven't tried that. I've seen I've seen that kicking around, so I might have a little look at that. But just, if anyone's just come in or been in for a while and didn't mention it, I'm going to do these try, <clears throat> do these twice a week, Monday and Tuesday, and then get a couple of videos out in this kind of growing, you know, in this, you know, the season's here, man, thank God. So... My intention is to try and do on a Monday guests and have guests because Monday I was thinking is more, you know, you've been in the garden the weekend, you're all still hyped up about garden. And if I can get on, say, Steve Greenside up or, or Audrey or any, you know, other folks, maybe Ian, and just ask them questions and get used to ask them questions and just get their knowledge and just get, you know, like the tips because I'm bloody hell. Do you know what I mean? You can... <laughs> tell my from my bloody videos you know what I mean I'm just I'm chancer you know what I mean but there's kind of there's methods and there's certain ways to do things and it'd just be nice to kind of talk a little bit more in depth so that's the idea on a, a Monday a little bit as well like you know we'll, 
if it ain't broke, don't fix, you know, don't fix it. Like Gardner's Question Time, where you can ask some questions to the guests. And then Tuesday, a little bit like this. I'll get some things going, you know what I mean? I kind of show you things and do things, what I'm up to, what I'm planting now. You know, I've got me, like you say, a little kind of setup where I can kind of show you this. And it's all just kind of, you know, I mean, like I say, I'm looking enough. No, that's that's the worst way of kind of describing. Just the father knows not very well, so my wife has to go and look after him. And poor poor guy, he's just in a hell of a state, to be honest. But you know, you do what you do, and like I say, well, I've got the house to myself. Oh, the daughter's kicking around. She's actually had a exercise swim at the moment. <laughs> she asked us if I wanted to go. <laughs> so no. But while I remember, while I remember, I'm going to boot my phone up. I'm going to show you this app, which we've started to use. And I think it's great, to be honest. I'm just great on. Can I just. Right. So this, and if you look for me, I'll be called Starship Sofa. Now, where's it? Wait on. Cancel that. There, you see that one? Be real. So. What it is, is it takes a picture. It randomly, I'm, not, I'm trying not to show you kind of any, there's my son. <laughs> he's supposed to be doing, he's, he's doing so much. Well, man, the things he's kind of, the, such and such dynamics of like jet propulsion engines and stuff like that. So this program, it's called Be Real. And every day, randomly, at any time, it'll give you a little notification and you've got two minutes to take a photograph and the, the, when you take a photograph, it takes a photograph of you and your face or what you're looking at. It takes two photographs at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it a bit, bit. So if you're in the garden and it creeps off, which I was, I took a picture and it takes a picture of me and it takes and it sends it to your friends. So if you look for me, Starship Sofa or Tony Smith, but I think it'd be Starship Sofa, put me as your friend and then you'll see because <laughs> nine times out of ten, mind you'll probably just see my face and then the fridge door. <laughs> like that. So it's called Be Real. Be Real. And it's it's in it's in both app stores and it's really quite a nice and I'll cause I'll when the sun sent it, I was like, ah, man, if it's this TikTok nonsense, TikTok, because I don't do any of that now. You know, now. I don't do any of that. So, and I, like, oh, I, thought, I thought that was all right. So be real and look for Starship Sofa. That's actually the name of me, science fiction podcast. So Keith, Ma, that's it. Mal, Mal. Keith Singleton, soil conditioner. If anyone get a hold of that stuff, my God, man. It's like cheating. It's like gardening on steroids. I don't know what to put in, and I don't care. But it, I think it's all organic. Keith Singleton's soil conditioner. When I first built them beds, I was looking... Actually, no, it was even before that. I was looking enough to get oodles of bags of it. I think my mum tried this on my birthday. I think I had about 10 bags, and it's good, you know, like litres and litres of the stuff in a bag, and it's just... That earth, you know what I mean? That kind of, that texture you want, you know, that feel good kind of, you pick it up, you got your, you get your, and I'm not a great believer in this anyways, you know, get your hands in the earth and just like, there's, there's all, there's something so therapeutic, I think, with that. But then you get it on steroids with Keith Singleton's soil conditioner, just tremendous. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's one of the best products that I've had for like just revitalizing your soil. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. You, you, it's it's expensive. I think it's. I'm gonna. I'm just quoting. Probably about six to eight pound a bag, something like that. You know what I mean? All you're doing is putting it on your garden. You know, if you think of it like that, you kind of. <laughs> but if you have got some like steel garden, or you just took over and you want like a little bit, and you just want to kind of give it a little kick, you know, I mean? a little treat before you start putting in your compost. Honestly. Keith Singleton's soil conditioner. Mal, thank you very much for that. I wouldn't have remembered that in the month of Sunday, to be honest. Yeah, I'm missing all these. I'm whizzing past these comments there. So it's be real if anybody's there. 
<laughs> oh my God, have you seen how we look when we garden? That's the whole point, Tara, man. Crikey, man. I'm probably, I'm probably losing my temper. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> but you only, actually, you only get two minutes. And I think if it's gone, it's gone. You miss it, you miss it. Do you know what I mean? So, Claire. Oh, you see, Claire. See, there's only a few who get that. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. What a film, eh? To be honest, I just love God. That's another kind of thing for me. Like science fiction is just like so therapeutic, right from the kind of early, the golden age. You know what I mean? The like kind of in the forties and the fifties, right up. And I've just finished on my Kindle. Well, I'm just now at the exciting bit. I've been reading the making of Star Wars, and honestly, the trouble that guy. Lucas had to go through to get it up, to get the money, to get it. Oh, it was all going wrong. Just, and he's still paranoid. You know, I don't know if you've heard the kind of, where he likes to mess around and fiddle with it. It's, it's complete, it's finished, but he still tweaks things. He's like that. And it's just, for a week, it's just been come out. And it's making millions. And he's still not happy. He wants to tweak. What a fascinating book it is, to be honest. The making of Star Wars. It's actually... Kick-started me into reading, because so I've got to lined up the making of Jaws as well, so I'm going to read that. <laughs> right, any any questions there? What, what? How long have we been going? 46 bloody minutes. The throat's a little bit dry. Have you noticed there's no drink as well? Stop drinking. I have. Uh, stop. It's getting massive headaches, man, to be honest. I'm actually on medication for... Oh, I forget what the name is there. I can't remember the name. Medication for migraines. And when I was having a little, little aperitif now and again, it was just knocking it off, sending it. So I've stopped. Stopped since possibly before Christmas, to be honest. So football on soon, Rob. Well, that's... I'm not... I'll go on and I'll let you watch that. Have you shown parsnips yet, Mike? What did you see there? Have you sown parsnip seeds yet? I have no, no. Actually, Mike, I got the best crop two years ago and I didn't put them in till May. Do you know what I mean? So I wouldn't kind of plant them in little things and then try and just get them in. There's, I'm sure if you search my videos, there's the video there of how I did it, to be quite honest. I'm, all, I'm organic on. Do you use any coffee grounds in your garden? That just all goes in, into the compost bin, into the, kind, you know, so the whole lot, eggshells, coffee grounds, whatever. What's James? James here. I read that the marketing of Jaws. Fantastic. You didn't have a speech. Wasn't in the script. All right, right. Spielberg hated Robert Shaw. He was pissed on set all day. All right. See, I've nearly, James, I've nearly finished the Star Wars one. It's like you say, you can tell it's wrapping up there now. I'm on, as we Kindle says, something about 89, <coughs> excuse me, percent finished. So, yes. Dear the truth. Is this always starting science fiction there now, Andrew? Is we, have we just jolted and switched to science fiction? I have in jaws in my bathroom in the window. <laughs> right, any questions there? We've got, we're coming up, we've got 10 minutes left. Yeah, 10 minutes left on the hour, and then we'll 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 call it a day, yeah, shall we? So any questions there? Anything to like to know? Like you say, you can grow. I'm going to run through them again, Ted, quick there. Spring onions, pea shoots, lettuce, spinach, coriander, parsley, early cabbage, broccoli, broad beans, peppers, aubergines, and chilies if you're using heat. Jenny says she uses blueberries around her. She uses coffee grounds around her blueberries as mulch. We go through we have coffee grounds loads, to be honest. I've got like a little, little bloody big espresso machine there. So, yeah, go all the time. Anything else? I was offered coffee bean shells to add comment. Has uh, now, shoot you, I, I haven't. I would have thought. I oh, missed it. Did I put you up there, Stu? 
coffee bean shells. I see. I would have thought they would. They would go down. I mean, might put. Depends how much your ratio is, but I would have thought they would have broke down, Stu. To be honest, I would. I would have thought so. I've got elephant garlic away there at the moment. So where my polytunnel is, the doorway, there's a little. There's a little one on the on the left, right. I've got to work it out. On the right hand side, there's about six or seven claws in there. So, hope my bracelet's coming off there. I've got that already done, and there are probably about. I'll take some photographs for next time. Probably about that big, to be honest. So, anything else? Any questions? Love your videos, Linda. I'll put I'll put you up there. I'll, I'll, I'll stick that one there, shall I? Love your videos, you're down to earth and very funny. Thank you very much, Linda. So like I mentioned, hopefully tomorrow, live as well, if I can get, if I can drag somebody on the show with us, that will be, that's the intention there. Jenny's asking, has anybody tried asparagus pea? New for me this year, not me, Jeremy. I've not, never, never even heard of it. Never even heard of it. Don't know what it is. <laughs> What sweet corn, Matthew? What sweet corn am I going to grow this year? I'm, honestly, I'm 100%. I have no idea. I'm normally too late to get. Steve recommends one. And every time I go and order it, I, it's gone. It's sold out. So I end up just getting what's in the shop, you know, like a garden centre. And the ones that we had last year, I can't remember what they're called, but they work. You know what I mean? It's just root trainers in. Well, actually, I've got them fancy ones. Haven't had those fancy... Um, Plastic hard, you know, the hard plastic ones, grown cells, so I'm, I'm using that as well. Too late to plant shallots. Are you saying is it too late to plant shallots in? Because I've not, get them in, get them in. They were all in the, the garden centre, they're still selling them. <laughs> and obviously, they, you know what I mean, they wouldn't sell them if they weren't going to grow. <coughs> Lorraine's asking, have you ever tried keeping... I haven't. I didn't realise you could actually do that, Lorraine, to be honest, if I'm if I'm truthful. I just found out last year, tried it. It's not looking its prettiest. It would look prettier in January. We'd had nice leaves on They've all fell off, but it still looks like there's buds on it. So I'll I'll show you around and I'll show you, you know, when I, when I take it up there, hopefully we'll get it, get it up. Yep, yes, you can do in loo rolls as well. If you've, uh, I was saving them. I've still got loads in the hood, to be honest. We go through quite a few. <laughs> well, actually, not that, because Junior's not here there no more. He didn't kind of... Container-wise, that's it, Jamie. <clears throat> that's where, if I had a link, I would send a link down. Jamie, if you can put a link somewhere, it might, I don't know if it'll come through or not, to be honest. But just search container-wise, and there was... Patch potatoes were selling. We went to selling about 20 for like, oh, I we had like 20 quid, 30 quid or something. Last. Nev's asking, anybody tried broccoli? Is it Spallagrello? I'm not sure. Is that just a, 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 just a different type of broccoli, Nev, is it? Haven't... Um, so, you know, Deborah's planting shallots at the weekend, so get them in. I was hoping, and Stan's not on again there, because Stan sent us over, brought some over, some of the banana shallot seedlings. So, Richard, we're about to go, man. It's time to steady going, man, Richard. So if Stan's ever listens to this, I have got no banana shallots, Stan. <laughs> Oh, Jane's in again. Hello, Jane. We're putting our shallots in next weekend. Curtis at Tesco. <claps> Big round of applause for Jane and Tesco. <coughs> Getting, she's been talking too much, man. Right. Rob's Allotment Channel. Can, can we grow? Yeah, Rob's Allotment Channel, mind you. There's, uh, go over and subscribe to Rob. Well, I think how long we've been on here now. Oh, we're coming up like nearly an hour. Nearly an hour for this boy talking. So, like I say, I'm going to try and hopefully get Steve on or someone or Audrey in the in next tomorrow. 
And then it's going to swap, and we'll be hopefully doing lives on Monday as well. So that's the hopefully the the plan, and we'll try and like you know keep it as a bit like Gardner's question times as well. So if you've got some nice questions, some good meaty questions for the team, <laughs> that would be good. Don't forget, if you want to win my Brad's Atomic Seeds, that is the email to send them. I'll pick some winners out. I have already. Those are in the post. <coughs> As we speak, you will be getting them, the lucky winners from last week's show. You will be getting them there. So, yeah, if you want to win them, send us an email with your name and address written out correctly, right, written correctly. Do your postcode in capitals. <laughs> All the little things niggle us. It's the little things that niggle us. Right then. <clears throat> Are we set? Are we set? Are you have a nice time? Hopefully you have. I will see you hopefully tomorrow. That will be fine. 7 o'clock again. 7 p.m. Right then. Take care, everyone. Thank you very much for coming on. It's been great. Hopefully the setup works now. <laughs> there will be kind of sound at the beginning of the show. But look after yourselves. Take good care. Toodle bip. Bye.